boom in this vlog style video i want to take you on a trip down the memory lane and i will describe how i actually learned a new language and what route i did follow in order to gather all of the essential skill in order to become a competent programmer in that one particular language and in this video we are going to talk about how i actually learned the javascript language prior to learning javascript i was programming android native application and i was writing the back end code using laravel which is a php based back end solution but when i was doing that when i was writing code for pollen chat everything was moving into the javascript direction so whenever i was searching for any php based solution all i was getting were the javascript based solutions like i was searching for a php based web socket solution for my um, pollen chat chat application but i was getting all of these uh, rabbit mqs and all frameworks which were written in javascript so i decided to take a plunge into this javascript ecosystem and in this video i will exactly tell you what route i followed in order to learn the basics of javascript how i actually created some little production ready programs before migrating my pollen chat application from laravel to javascript of course we are not going to talk about the specifics of how i did migrate pollen chat laravel base code to javascript okay so the intent of producing this video is that that if you are contemplating learning a new language you will get tidbits of uh, insights into what route and what ways you can follow in uh, while learning a new language because learning a new language is a monumental task because there are several areas which uh, you need to cover in order to call yourself a competent programmer because uh, for creating anything of any use you'll have to get to a certain level of expertise before writing some production ready systems right i am not saying that being a beginner you cannot write production ready system but in case you have some advanced methodologies and tips and tricks in place they can actually help you in your whatever task okay so let's get started with the video so when i made my mind up for learning javascript i was frantically searching stack overflow and other sites about great javascript books which a beginner can read because i still think for learning any language book is a great medium because it actually gives you certain foundations which you can use to build all of your language building upon so i was searching for good javascript books so these were all javascript books which i got to know about during that time and i have been reading quite a lot of stack overflow threads about good javascript book and this one particular book javascript the good parts was mentioned time and again hence i decided to grab a copy of this one particular book from my office's library to at least uh, skim through all the chapters and content of this book but as soon as i finished chapter 1 of this book i was hooked and then i proceeded on to reading a significant part of this book this book actually gave me enough foundations about the basic functionality of javascript things like prototypical inheritance what prototypes are what are objects and what are truthy and falsy values so this book was a complete different experience from other books i have read about java or 
python which are mostly object oriented languages but this book actually introduced me to this concept of prototypes and prototypical inheritance and this book is very detailed about all of those things so from this book i got my proper foundations about how to create functions how to create inheritance in javascript and everything in between once i have got enough foundations in javascript i wanted to create some tangible examples so since i was having a full time job at that time i mean i still have a full time job so the amount of practice i could uh, get done in my free time was rather limited so i had to figure out a way in order to program uh, for a significant amount of time so as to really polish my newly learned javascript skills for that i actually used chrome's internal dev tools to write some javascript code so i was doing something like this in my office and hence i you know really took some time to really polish my javascript skill from uh, the tool which is readily available to every single one of us at the office because most of the people are having chrome browsers installed and in firefox also you have got this type of developer tool so you can uh, practice in firefox as well so once i was very sure that i have uh, learned a great deal about javascript fundamental i wanted to create a real world production ready small application which can actually prove to the world and to myself as well that i can really program a working system in javascript hence i was frantically searching for what can i develop with javascript or what are the problems i really wanted to solve at that time so then i i mean uh, in that particular time this one particular topic was getting quite a lot of uh, interest from uh, tech person and that topic was chatbots so i thought that that would be a good test case because a chatbot is rather limited in functionality and as per my professional uh, experience till that time i was very sure that it would not take a lot of code in order to build a chatbot right so i created this revise bot using node js es6 and other javascript functionalities i have written a detailed blog post about how i designed and developed and deployed this uh, chatbot entirely in the cloud so you may want to check that out as well in case you are very interested in learning how i actually developed this chatbot so i wrote this chatbot i deployed this chatbot on a cloud service then i also wrote some mocha test for this chatbot so uh, this uh, chatbot actually gave me enough opportunities and surface area to work upon and i grew pretty much confident in writing a maintainable code which is also testable and i actually you know went out of my comfort zone and tried to cover the code with test cases as much as possible and in my opinion i think i have covered 100% of the cases by writing individual unit tests for every single scenario so once i created and deployed that application i was very sure that now i can actually claim that i know a little bit of javascript and then uh, there are certain areas which i needed to work upon so the areas were uh, the prototypical thing although the good parts was a great introduction to the prototypical chain and how java scripts prototypes work but i still needed some more in depth tutorial about uh, those javascript prototypes and also this one particular uh, javascript uh, 
prototypical related blog post was mentioned quite a lot when I was searching about JavaScript prototypes and all and it is written by Dmitry Shoshnikov if I am pronouncing his name right in case I am not I am really sorry for that because I don't really know how to pronounce uh, your name but yes so this is a detailed post which actually gives you proper insight about how prototypes are supposed to work in JavaScript right so I read that post I certainly got some great insights about the prototypical chain and how prototypes work in JavaScript I still think that I hadn't got or I haven't got the hundred percent uh, knowledge from this because it is quite detailed and I still cannot you know decipher every single thing that is mentioned in this one blog post but yes in case you are trying to understand prototypes uh, pretty well in JavaScript this is the post you should be reading so I will leave a link to this post in this video description and you may want to check that out then there are certain areas in node.js which i wanted to explore more about the one topic uh, which i felt that i needed to learn pretty badly was the event loop and how node.js is uh, making everything work in asynchronous mode so there was uh, this concept of event loop which i wanted to learn and I certainly did learn about event loop and all and I also recorded a video about event loop explaining the functionality of uh, event loop in JavaScript and in Node.js and how it is supposed to work and how it is supposed to make your development environment or your production environment asynchronous okay so in case you are interested in learning more about event loop in JavaScript and Node.js this is the post from rain studios which you might want to have a look at okay all right so by this time when revise bot was uh, deployed and i was done reading all of these blog posts and all i was well on to my way with creating other application that is when i started learning react.js and then i created kivya dot com using my knowledge about react.js so this is the first site which i have developed using react.js and i have also used docker in the backend uh, for deploying my backend code which is written again in node.js and i have also used express.js to write api functionality for this application now from this uh, web project I learned about Express.js okay so now currently I am following this JavaScript along G I don't really know how to pronounce this one particular word but uh, I am following this book so I think it is a book for writing functional code in JavaScript because uh, as far as I have read this book it is more concentrated on making functions work in javascript and how to express everything in javascript using functions so in case you are interested in learning more about functional programming using javascript this is the book which you should follow now i have been reading this book on and off for last 1.5 years i still haven't finished this book so i am not really sure about the rest of the content which i have not yet read but the point up to which I have uh, read the material of this book I am pretty sure that this book is quite beginner friendly and also this book actually sometimes go into advanced levels but you don't really have to be worried about the stuff you are yet unable to understand because eventually you will learn more and more stuff about the language and the syntax and the semantics and as uh, soon as that happens you will find yourself in a position where you are ready to uh, you know assimilate more and more advanced stuff so you can read this book in case you are interested in learning more about uh, implementing functional programming using javascript so 
This is all about how I got started with JavaScript, what resources I use uh, to build my JavaScript skills and what resources I am using now to, you know, make the foundations even stronger in JavaScript and learning new functionalities and tricks about JavaScript. Also, this book is updated with ES6 syntax, so you will feel that this is not a version which is outdated it is very current so you are going to learn about destructuring and then spread operators and there are several other es6 uh, based functionalities like classes and all which uh, i think is quite essential in today's javascript age right so i think from this post now you have got some insights about what route one can follow in order to learn uh, a programming language and what can he do in order to step up his programming game and how he can create a real world practical portfolio if he does not have any professional opportunity uh, to prove his skill in a technology he has learned in a very recent time okay so with that, this is your guy Rajesh Saxena signing off. In case you are interested in learning more about these sort of stuff and uh, you are also looking for some tutorials about JavaScript, full stack development, Android development and all, make sure to subscribe to Rain Studio's YouTube channel and also give this video a thumbs up in case you found the advice in this video useful. Take care. Bye-bye.